driving to Missouri and I'm going down the um, it's going to be difficult to hear me. The winds are blowing at a good 50 miles an hour. But look where I am. I'm in, I found, I saw this off the road. There are ruins everywhere out here and New Mexico is well known for it. So I'm just going to uh, have a look around here. This place is called Cuervo and it's probably between 10 and 15 miles outside of Santa Rosa, New Mexico off the I-40. I'm going to shut up now and we'll look at it. There's been nothing but ruins. And, uh, well, it looks like they made a uh, either a temporary repair or a uh, this was a uh, an extra room. Oh wow! They still got the stove. Some of you might know the era. I don't know. To me, it looks I don't know 30s, 40s, maybe even early 50s. Okay, this is concrete. There's some of the old tile. That's always interesting. Here's looking out the front. It's pretty neat. I'm surprised these places are standing. Super cool. I had an attic here. still have the stove. Yeah, someone was in here. There's an old bench. And if we come back in here, this has a concrete floor. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Look. Wow. Really neat. Wow, look at this material they utilized. Back here must 
must be the rectory. The, the roof is real nice. Someone was squatting in here. It sure looks like it. Wow. Some do oh wow, look. It leads to a that is really neat. Leading to a, a loft. Very cool. So it has a concrete floor. There's a window we initially looked in. Uh, they still got the stoves. There's a sink. That's a nice sink, actually. It's old school ceramic. Closet. This I like. Yeah, just imagine who lived here. What their lives were like. It's a neat thing to think about. Then you have this row of houses. I think everyone probably worked at that mill. I'm not sure what they were processing, but this is the town of Cuervo. And um, I'm sure you can look it up and people know a heck of a lot more than I do because well, I don't know anything about it. This looks like, yeah, just like a linoleum floor material. Wow, and expansive. Well, you can probably see up there. Loft slash attic. The wood up top is in really nice condition. Looking out the window, as I'm sure, sure many times the residents did. Looking out there and seeing this wide open area. Little private water heater. Uh, You can date this place. Yeah, old 
hinges like this are pretty neat. There's a cabinetry, probably the, probably the kitchen area, dining zone. And you see that there's there's so much more out here. This entire area has been undermined, but it looks as though you can see this. It's it was some kind of storage area, and in fact, you have steps going down. So they had storage beneath their home, and that's pretty neat. Oh, look at this. You can date this. That looks 40s, 40s, 50s to me, post-war. I mean, you know, I think about these dates sometimes, and we're in 2019. rock work it's neat so that was really neat so it looks like there's some uh, some basements and things of that nature it's nice to get out of that wind up there is the mill and if you look at the area there are ruins everywhere you could probably spend a couple hours here and you might bump into somebody and they could probably you know give you some more information on the site And I think that as long as you're not destroying property or creating any mischief, I think, I think they're pretty used to people stopping by because it is right along I-40.